Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, my name is Dede Trisyati. I come from uh, Universitas Pendidikan Indonesia, from Science Department, and Education Department. Uh, today, I'm going to share about my article. The title is The Interconnection Between Student Meta-Affective, Meta-Cognitive, and Assessment in Science Learning. And the authors for this article consists of myself, and then Prof. Nuryani, Prof. Nuryani Ustaman, and then Prof. Ari Widodo, and Prof. Nusiha. Uh, this article will be shared for the SCN Education Symposium 2015. Okay, let's see the first about the introduction. Okay, the first, student often feel anxious. So when students come to uh, the first class and then meet with new classmates and a new uh, classroom environment, uh, usually a student can feel anxious and this condition can reflect and how students can identify part of their anxious and how to solve this problem. But unfortunately, students sometimes cannot solve the entity. So this is, can be um, a change for teacher how to facilitate students to solve this uh, problem. And meta-affective learning can be as one kind of the solution. Another one is. Uh, for the search of the science learning, students can see, for example, in article, uh, students should be find the main subject, and metacognitive can solve this ability. And another one is student achievement. Student achievement as output from science learning, and also uh, will be keep, and then will be. Uh, Checked by external factors. So, the hypothesis for this uh, article is is there any interconnection or co correlation between student meta affective and student achievement, student meta cognitive and student achievement, and student meta affective and student meta cognitive? This is the method. The method that we use a correlation research and there are two instruments which we in here the first one meta affective spread scale or mhs and the second one is meta cognitive awareness inventory or mai and our participant is 205 an indonesian secondary student that consists of seven grades uh 102 and eighth grade 103. this is the table uh, that saw about the result of the correlation coefficient among student meta affective metacognitive and achievement uh this uh, result as the um, output from spss and this is can we see and MACS and MAE or meta affective and meta cognitive, there is interconnection. There is correlation between meta affective and meta cognitive, and this is strong value. And also, this one meta cognitive and meta affective, there is also a strong uh, correlation or interconnection. Student achievement also strong co uh, correlation between uh, uh, student achievement and meta cognitive, but there is no correlation between student achievement and student uh, meta affective. There are some research, uh, previous research that mentioned about the meta cognitive and meta affective and also in line with the student achievement in science. For example, this one, metacognitive strategies, or we can say metacognition. This is 
can help students to focus in, in, in achievement, especially for the conceptual knowledge about science. Uh, this is the sound example how metacognitive can be implemented in a school. For example, how metacognitive can guide the seventh grade student to achieve their knowledge. And also in eighth grade student, metacognitive focus how to manage their content knowledge. And also for the specifically in physic learning for secondary school students also Metacognitive has the effect in this uh, uh, activity. And another one, metacognition can be used as the predictor of science achievement for seven grade students. And another one, so there is a very strong relation between metacognitive and cognitive strategy. And how, how, how about meta affective? Okay. Uh, some uh, research uh, should hold the meta affective and meta cognitive training can give positive effect to the student. For example, students can reflect their motivation and behavior as a part of self efficacy, which is the core in learning process. So, this fact gives the consequence to our teaching learning in science. So, uh, how design the science learning uh, that can get students by using meta affective and meta cognitive. And the last, but the conclusion. So, the conclusion in our research, in our article, there is correlation between student meta affective and meta cognitive. And also, there is correlation between student meta cognitive and student achievement but no correlation between student affective and achievement okay that's all for my presentation thank you very much for your attention see you next time thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh